What's up YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the Bluetooth mini keyboard from BudgetGadgets.com. But first, I thought I would let you know about a very, very good Black Friday deal that's going on. It starts today and goes all the way till midnight on Black Friday, and it is of the V-Moto Crossfade LP headphones. Now, I do have a review coming on these in the next couple weeks, but I can tell you right now, if you buy them at this price, I can guarantee you won't be disappointed. Uh, the coupon is available directly from shop.vmoda.com. That's their own website, so you get the manufacturer's warranty, you get all that good stuff. These retail for $200. Uh, $199, which is their retail, I think they're better headphones and more well-suited than the Beats by Dre Solos, the Beats by Dre Solo HDs, and even the Beats by Dre Studios. Um, these do have kind of a fashion-esque look. They're not so much the Sennheiser quality that you're going to get. Well, I should rephrase that. They're not so much the sound performance that you're going to get, but you are going to get headphones built out of metal that are very light and extremely comfy. Comfy. These are comfier than the uh, Beats by Dre, but basically what I wanted to let you know is they're 48% off from now till Black Friday, only $106 uh, plus shipping, which is at that price, absolutely you must have, you must get them. Even if you like Sennheiser, even if you like Garado, you're into higher quality audio, these headphones at $100 are a killer buy. So go to shop.vmoto.com. I'm going to be picking my own up absolutely because that's a disgustingly good price and you can't not give it up. So uh, vmoto.com and pick up the Crossfade LPs for $106. Okay, now let's go to uh, this actual keyboard. This was sent to me from budgetgadgets.com. It was a lot cheaper a couple weeks ago, but... Um, Companies started buying these and ThinkGeek is a huge purchaser. Basically what it is, if you go to budgetgadgets.com, is this Bluetooth keyboard. Right now, for one of them, it's $37.68. So $40 for this. And at $40, I have a lot more trouble justifying it than at the regular price. It was at a couple weeks ago, which was about $10 to $15. I'm going to let you know that if you look around... You may be able to see this for about $15 elsewhere, but on budget gadgets, it has gone up significantly in price. You'll see this in ThinkGeek and a lot of the other magazines. This is just a wholesale Chinese keyboard that everyone's importing. ThinkGeek has made their own bracket for it and is selling it for 50 bucks. You can find this for a fifth of the price on eBay, other places, but this was sent to me by budget gadgets, so I do thank them for doing so. Now, it's a soft keyboard and uh, it's Bluetooth, so it works with any device that supports a Bluetooth keyboard. So the iPhone 4, the iPad, um, it supports your MacBook, your MacBook Pro, your Mac, you know, everything. Any device that supports a Bluetooth keyboard, this will work with. So it's very universal, it's very well known, and uh, it works very well with all devices. You have your standard keyboard layout, uh, QWERTY layout, you have your numbers up top, and then you have two command keys. There's the Alt um, and then the Function key. So control will actually act as control. So if you're on your computer or your Mac or something like that and you press control Q, that'll actually quit an application. So this isn't just a letters and numbers keyboard. This is a fully featured uh, keyboard that works with Macintosh as well as PC. I believe the alt key works as the Windows key on um, PCs. However, the alt will get you um, this blue layer up here. So if you see the pound, the money symbol, all that stuff that well alt and shift together I mean not exactly together but these two keys hold one or hold the other and that will get you your top keys up here now you also have function keys and these are really cool you have your standard back escape home playlist uh, all those other good keys that you're gonna find on your Mac as well as the symbols and arrow keys but you also get um, if you can see that you get a spaces key up there and you get all of your Macs control panels uh, excuse me, all your control keys. So you get the play forward back in iTunes, you get the volume, and it does work. Um, I've tested it with my MacBook and I haven't had any issues with it working. So it is pretty cool that this is a fully functional keyboard. It's not just your run of the mill letters and numbers keyboard. Now it is built out of plastic, it's extremely light. Um, it does house a rechargeable uh, lithium ion battery and I have had wonders with this battery. I've been able to go uh, 48 hours with this battery without needing to recharge. I charged it once thus far and I've had it for about two months. So that's how good the battery is. Now, for many of you, you may be wondering, well, why would I use this with the iPhone? The iPhone 4 already has a wonderful on-screen keyboard. And this is true. I'm really good at the on-screen keyboard on the iPhone and I can honestly say that I don't use um, Bluetooth keyboards that often with my iPhone, um, nor with the iPad. 
I mean, I, when I had my iPad, I just would use the on-screen keyboard because it worked excellently. However, there are times when you're going to want some tactile feedback. Um, I can think, for instance, and this is a terrible example to use, but it's one that I exactly used. Last year, um, I would text all the time in class, and I still do it, and I can get away with it now because I'm a senior and my teachers don't care about us anymore. But um, last year, I texted all the time, and I got really good at mischievously hiding this phone, but this is not the easiest phone to text on when you can't see what you're doing. There's, not, there's no tactile feedback, so you can't see, oh, okay, well, I'm touching the J key right now. You have to look at it while you're typing, and by that point, you're obviously texting, and your teacher more than likely will find you and take it away. Now, with this Bluetooth keyboard, if your teacher sees you with this, they're going to be like, what the heck, they might take your keyboard away, but guess what, your phone's not going away. But um, I've just used this on my desk, even in class, I'll put my iPad, or I'll put my iPhone back, um, like on my backpack, or on the floor, or on my lap, or something like that, and I'll just be at my desk and pick out what I want to type, and it works perfectly well. So. Um, you know, there is use, there is functionality for this. It works great if you have a Mac Mini. If you have a Mac Mini, you're using a home theater PC and you don't really want to just use the remote, you want to use a bunch of other utilities. This is excellent as long as you can get a wireless mouse. So I really like this functionality, but let's get into it, let's actually demo it. Like I said, there's a lithium ion battery in it and comes included with a micro USB cable. And uh, you're gonna see your on off switch up here up top. So we're gonna select the on switch. It's gonna power the device on and you'll see so by the Bluetooth or just a blue logo. Um, when it's connected, it goes away. So we can already see on my iPhone that it has actually connected. Oh, not quiet. Slide to unlock. There we go. Now it's connected with my device. Um, this button up top here is for syncing and pairing with other devices. So if you see that little black button right there, you just hold that down for about five seconds and it'll start the pairing process. Very easy to pair, you can pair with any device. And let's get started. So with the iPhone, um, let's, let's lay this vertically. First of all, and the first coolest feature about this, it can also become a pain though if you don't turn it off, is by pressing any key, it unlocks the iPhone. As you can see there. So I don't have to slide to unlock, all I have to do just press a key and it will unlock the iPhone. Now let's go to the notepad so I can kind of show you how this functions. We'll turn it sideways here. Oh, I'm locked in portrait orientation, sorry. Still locked. There we go. Okay, so we got my iPhone right here. Let's type. This is. And one thing about the uh, shift and the function keys is you actually have to hold them down. So you can't just press shift and then the T, otherwise it will be lowercase. You're actually going to have to hold the T down, which is unusual for these kind of uh, Bluetooth devices, but we'll get into it. Let me slide it up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So this, uh, Bluetooth. Keyboard. So it's not the fastest way I could type that out, but it works perfectly well. Um, it has these soft touch keys. It's a little bit weird at first, but the more you use it, the faster you get. And uh, last time, I believe, you can actually use the function keys to work your iPhone. No, that doesn't work. Oh, wait, I was using the shift, hold on. Yeah, you can. Okay, so if you press function, skip, that'll actually work the player on your device. Press play and that'll stop playing. So that's really cool. Um, the function keys are universal. They work on both your Macintosh and your iPhone or iPod Touch. So it is pretty cool. I believe the escape key, if we can find it. No. I thought one of these keys will take you back to home screen. It acts as a home button, but I don't remember what it is. You can also adjust brightness, um, I believe. Maybe that was on the iPad, but on the iPad, you can shift this up and down. It will control the brightness on your iPod as well as your MacBook. So this is a great little mini keyboard. It's not worth 40 bucks if you ask me, but I will tell you that if you look around a little bit, you'll find it for a lot cheaper, 10 to $15. And at that price, it's a pretty viable little platform. You can get pretty fast at using this. Uh, I'd say you can get faster than the virtual keyboard if you worked that out hard enough. I love the virtual keyboard, so I've never minded um, sticking with this, but this is definitely something that's good if you want to type a long essay out or, you know, and you don't really want to use the on-screen keyboard, texting in class, all that other stuff. If you need to be discreet, this is the way to go. So thanks to, uh, thank you to, 
uh, Budget Gadgets for sending this out. They did a great job um, at being fast and easy. They have free shipping and all that other good stuff. Uh, they ship from Singapore, so it takes a couple days, but it eventually gets there, and it's a definitely a good device. So this is the Bluetooth mini keyboard. This is That Snazzy iPhone Guy. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.